welcome to Soul Traveller Radio Show. Uh, we're actually going to call it Soul Traveller Video Show because we're finally doing everything uh, online like we should be uh, visually. And uh, we have a very special guest here uh, today, Joanna Beekman, who has, um, has created this incredible, incredible festival called Shakti United. And uh, we've got Joanna here. How are you, Joanna? I'm doing great. How are you, Shane? I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. I um, can't wait to hear about uh, what Shakti United is all about. Uh, I believe that uh, you've called it like a, a spiritual Lilith Fair. Um, so tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so my intention is, yeah, creating a spiritual Lilith Fair. There's something really powerful with bringing female voices together in community and sharing that with people of all genders, especially, and, and this focus is really on sacred and devotional and also English inspiring music. I've been in this kirtan and yoga world almost exclusively for some years. I've been really enjoying it, but this is a space for females from all genres to come together and share within spirituality what they're, what they're sharing. So we've got teachers, these amazing teachers and singers are going to be doing um, workshops on everything from raga singing to laughter yoga to yoni eggs in the goddess temple. Um, right. We have a female only space. We've got four spaces going at the same time. We have a female only space called the goddess temple where things are going to be focused on those kinds of things more, um, a safe space for women to come together and connect. But this is a larger celebration of the divine feminine. And we've got a main stage going all day long with different acts, including a Lilith Fair person from 20 years ago, Donna Delory, who was a performer in the Lilith Fair 20 years ago. Yes. So both, she's our headliner this year. That's fantastic. So, fantastic. Yeah. And then we'll have uh, some events happening inside in an air conditioned space as well, because it's summertime in August yeah. at an amazing hot springs called Jackson Well Springs that also has an Olympic sized swimming pool and hiking. And if anyone doesn't know about Ashland, there's amazing spring water there that has a lot of wonderful mineral qualities that people, you know, can spend their Sunday in Lithia Park enjoying that. Saturday, we have a 24-hour event from 11, 11 a.m. Saturday to 11, 11 a.m. Sunday. So people can fly in from all over and enjoy this amazing place called Ashland, Oregon. They could hop over a mountain for an hour and a half and enjoy Shasta's Vortex. Yeah. It's, it's a, quite a great opportunity to be in that part of the world. It's really beautiful. Now, you've actually got, uh, this is the first one that's coming up uh, at the beginning of August, and then you've got um, several others. So it's like a traveling festival, right? Yeah, yeah, it is like a traveling, a traveling mini festival. So this mm. is called Shakti United Gathering. We're keeping it small the first year, under 200 people. And I mean, I don't want to limit us, but that's kind of the intention is that it's a safe space for communities to celebrate. Yeah. And it's also contained. Um, and then I'm also doing some smaller events all over the country. I've done two other Shakti United. I did a Shakti United LA with Radha, the co-owner of uh, Bhakti Yoga Shala in Santa Monica, uh, California. And I did one with Jaya Lakshmi, who's an amazing mantra recording artist out here in the West in Eugene. So this is kind of building. And actually at the end of August, I'm doing a couple of events in North Carolina, in Asheville and Wilmington, North Carolina, with some amazing sisters out there. Um, Fantastic. Named yeah. Fantastic. And so, so where did you get the inspiration for Shakti United from? Well, you know, I actually spent my college time in a women's studies program focusing on diversity education. And so this is really close to my heart, this work with women. I worked with adults with developmental disabilities, and I've worked with women in a lot of different contexts, all the way from girls to adults. And the great thing about this particular event is it is a fundraiser for children, specifically airmarked to girls in Nepal to give them opportunity to you know, become a doctor, become a lawyer, give them the opportunities that we take for granted in the West. Yeah. And a lot of yeah. these singers are kirtan singers or devotional music singers. So we have really, really gathered a lot 
from these cultures. We're receiving a lot from multi, multiple cultures. So this is a way of also giving back and honoring that the child becomes the woman that becomes the crone. You know, it's this cycle of you know, all of us coming together to lift each other up. It's abundance is circular. So we can do what we together, what we couldn't do alone for these children, for each other, for the world, essentially, including men. You know, Shakti so, is so very men can come along, right? I mean, just I mean, oh, have to yeah. ask that question. Yeah. Yes, men can absolutely come along. Actually, we want more men than women, if anything, because yeah. that's where the change starts. You know, for those conscious men to show up and to receive this divine energy of of the goddess of of the archetype of the divine feminine can be really healing and powerful but we also need allies to create change and this is another angle that i have with this there's a lot going on in the culture right now that needs to be addressed around females empowerment you know and our ability to show up and hold big space and so we have only female fronted bands in this event men are we do have male band members there's no it's not it's totally inclusive this event there is not an exclusive component other than that there is one safe space called the goddess temple of ashland that is always there but we have our programs running there at the jackson well springs resort i think it's important to sort of you know talk about the fact that that um uh the the, the event is focusing on on the shakti uh energy um, yeah. so it's not so much, you know, oh, you know, all about women. It's, no. it's about the Shakti energy that, that is within all of us. Right. And, you know, and when we're talking about Shakti, it's really interesting because with Shiva in, in Hinduism, there's Shiva and he's consciousness and he's creation, but without Shakti, his divine consort, the feminine archetype, the feminine polar opposite of him, she is, she propels that creation so without the shakti that creation would not exist so it is a celebration of that energy of creativity and um swirling female energy that can create change can create movement can create creation essentially you know so yes shiva is just as important as shakti shakti is just as important as shiva no one can exist without each other yeah no, that's beautiful. So um, give us uh, the dates and where, where can we buy tickets and, and all of that. Um, and then after that, we're going to have a listen to the new single from Donna DeLore, uh, which is called Listen. Uh, and of course, Donna's going to be at Shakti United on the weekend as well. So where can we find out tickets and, and, and purchase tickets in advance? Yeah, you can find tickets at brightstarevents.com. And um, I don't have the exact address, but it'll be brightstarevents.com slash Shakti United, I believe. Yeah. And the dates are August 4th and August 5th. It starts August 4th at 11 in the morning. It ends August 5th at 11, 11 a.m. So this is a sacred number that we're kind of running with. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so you can buy your tickets there and... It's going to be, you know, children are actually under 10 are free for Donna's concert because she's going to be working with the children, teaching them a song and then performing it with the children. So this is really, like I said, an all ages family friendly event. And this is a really great opportunity also for the children to get involved in something. The other exciting part of this event is that we have so many amazing females. I tour the country all the time singing sacred music. This is what I do. I've met so many amazing women all over the country that have amazing music that has not been recorded. So there's also an opportunity for all of us to get together and jam and play music and share heart songs throughout the event. And there are spaces for this. And then our closing ceremony, we bring all of our voices together with these heart songs that we've been sharing. And so headliner, not headliner, we're all the same and we're singing from the heart. I love it. Absolutely love it. Well, look, all of the links and everything are going to be, uh, just if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be um, just underneath the, uh, the video. And if you're watching it on Facebook, uh, then it'll just be in the, in the description on the post. Uh, so we'll have all the links so you can buy the tickets and, um, uh, Joanna Beekman, thank you so much for putting this together. It's um, such a, a fantastic blessing for us. 
Mm, thank you so much, Shane, for supporting my vision. I just, I hope that we can touch many people with this, with this heart song that we're sharing. So thank you so much for being a part of that vision and for sharing the heart song and let's keep it flowing. <laughs> Fantastic. Jo Joanna Beekman uh, from Shakti United and uh, that's it for Soul Traveler uh, video show. And we're going to uh, take the show out with the brand new single from Donna Delory. It's called Listen. Uh, and it is a fantastic track. Can't wait for you to hear it. So uh, this is Listen. I'm Shane Locke, and this has been the Soul Traveler Video Show. Hey, what's that sound?
Sugino Bavan